This is the pan that I'm going to use to paint the walls. I know you're really excited about this, but I wanted to show you uh, how I lined it. I lined it with plastic. Now you could take a tray liner and put it in here. I'd really recommend that if, when you put the tray liner in that you tape the edge of the, tri of the tray liner to the pan. Um, I like to wrap it in plastic. I just took a sheet from my box of plastic and I laid it in here. I made sure that the solid piece was on the top. You'll notice this, this fold that you see, that's actually underneath. You don't want the part that folds out on the top. Um, and then I just tape it around the edge. Very pretty like. And then uh, I also put two pieces of tape on each end. Uh, this is so when you put the roller frame in there, it doesn't tear up your plastic. Anyway, I, I find this is more convenient because then I can take this plastic when I'm done and I can wrap my roller pad with it and it'll stay for, you know, a few days. We're ready to paint the ceiling. So I've got the brush and the paint, a roller pad set up and I've lined my tray. So I'm going to go ahead and pour the paint into the pan. I just want to do a quick demonstration of that, pouring it in the pan, how much should go in there, and then getting the roller pad saturated with paint. So you don't need to fill it a lot. It's to about there. Now, when you roll it, so roll it into the paint, and you'll notice in the very beginning, it takes, it takes a bit of paint to start saturating the roller pad. So you just keep going back and forth at it. All right, you don't wanna drive way down into the paint. Just, just roll it until it hits the paint, and then bring it back to the edge of the pan. Okay. So there you go. That's how you get it started. And you see that I don't have a lot in here. I've got enough in the pan, at the edge of the pan here so that I can roll the excess off. You don't want to put a lot on, right? You don't want it dripping off. So roll it back out. You can just push it down a little. And you want to be able to lift it up so that it's not dripping everywhere, right? You don't need that much paint on the roller pad or you're just going to make a heck of a mess. Okay. I'm going to show you a really quick trick on how to protect this. So let's say you put a coat on and then you wanted to put another coat on, but you needed to wait an hour or two. I'm going to show you a really quick tip on how to keep this so you don't have to clean all of this up. You can leave it just the way it is. So let's assume that you've put a coat on the walls or the ceilings and you realize that you're going to need a second coat. Now, if you can do it in the next two or three hours, here's a trick. Instead of having to clean all of this up, take your frame and your pad, and then drive the pad into the paint and get it nice and saturated, nice and wet, and then bring the paint up into the upper part of the pan. So you want a nice thick layer of paint everywhere. Okay, then grab a piece of plastic that's larger than the pan and lay it down over the top. And then here's the key. You want to take a rag that's larger than the pan, run it under water, then wring it out, and then lay it over the top of the plastic. And what you've done is you've created this kind of seal and the moisture in the rag will help keep the paint wet. Now about every 30 minutes or so, maybe 15 or 30 minutes, I'll come back and I'll lift the plastic back up and the rag and I'll just re-roll the paint onto the roller pad. Um, this just, you just wanna make sure that this stuff doesn't dry up on you because if it dries up, you're gonna have these little chunks of paint, okay, in your, in your wall. So make sure you keep it nice and wet, come back and check on it every 15 to 30 minutes, okay? Tip of the day. When you're done with your roller pad and you've used the plastic, um, so saturate your pan or your, sorry, saturate your pad and then just take the paint and pour it into the bucket and clean it out with a brush. Okay. Then take your, this and undo the tape.
Okay, and then I just take it and wrap it, wrap the roller pad in the plastic, right? Then grab the end, okay, and then pull straight out. All right, and then I just take the plastic and wrap it around. It's a little crude, but it works. You know, you got the really wet, you've got paint all over the plastic, so that'll keep the roller pad nice and moist. And since the roller pad's got a lot of paint on it too. And then sometimes I'll take a piece of tape, so I wrapped it up pretty tight. You could tape around it like this. And you also might want to mark it. I'll usually take a piece of masking tape, put it across the top, and then write, you know, this is the wall color, so I'll put wall color. And then if I'm using different sheens, I'll write wall color eggshell or wall color flat, you know, whatever the case may be, okay? And then make sure you always clean your roller frame. Just run this under water. You want to make sure that no paint builds up in this area, right? Or it won't, it won't spin correctly. So just rinse it off, rinse these off, rinse the paint out of here, okay? Really quick. All right.